You're not the first person with your idea, should you still do it? I'm Jay Adelson, and I'm the founder and chairman of Revision 3. I've started and built a number of companies. My goal in this show is to pass on some of the knowledge from my experiences to you, the budding entrepreneurs, and hopefully leave you with some words of wisdom. This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by HostGator. Today's question comes from Edmund who writes, I want to start a business, but I'm having an ethical issue. What I want to do is already being done by someone else. Is it okay to start the business? Should I ask permission from the other company? What do you think I should do? Edmund, Edmund, Edmund. I think you're asking whether or not it's okay to do something that you know someone else is doing. You know, kind of the copycat thing. Fact of the matter is, is that often the person who went second can be the winner. Now, there may be some feelings that you have around not being original and you know I think that there's the decision you have to make on whether or not that's important to you but I would argue I mean look at Facebook Friendster existed quite a long time before Facebook Orkut and all these um, and yet Facebook was the winner because they could leverage from the other guys uh, mistakes and lessons that were learned to make a better product so I don't think there's anything wrong with doing a business when you know that it's been done already. Uh, you know, a great example of this for me that I saw is we, we had started Dig uh, in um, 2004, 2005, and I'm pretty sure it was 2005 or 2006 that there was a company started in Germany called Dig. Same spelling, I think the domain name was dig.de, and they had this German, vibrant German community uh, around a very similar website uh, to dig in the United States. Should they have not done it? I mean, we weren't doing it in Germany, so why shouldn't they do it? And when, you know, finally, you know, there was trademark fun and all that kind of stuff, but in the end, I think it was great that they created this, this website, and I believe that that community still exists today. I think now it's called YIG. Another example of this is, is Netscape. I mean, twice Netscape, actually. When you consider the first time, Netscape was not the first commercial browser. There was a ton like NetCruiser and, and you know, Spyglass and others before them. Um, and yet, they were very successful at that time, one of the most famous IPOs ever. And then Netscape again. I mean, Jason Calacanis tried to copy Dig and create Netscape uh, uh, under the same brand name at AOL, and it was a raging failure. So, well, you know. Let's be honest, okay, Dig kind of won that battle. So, I mean, really, sometimes it's fine to go ahead and, and iterate off of someone else's idea. Other times, well, not so much. But, you know, no reason not to go for it. Um, and sometimes you get a, a better shot because you get more, um, you get the, uh, you know, get the benefit of all the first guy's mistakes. Anyway, I'll give you some tips on sort of maybe checking the market first and how to do that uh, before you start your business in a second. But first, I want to thank our sponsor. Looking for a place to launch a blog or a website? Frustrated with customer support at your current hosting provider? Go to HostGator and get up and running in minutes. With plans starting just at $3.96 a month, you get top-rated 24-7 customer support, access to tools, including a website builder with over 4,000 templates. HostGator will even migrate your current site for free. Servers are 130% powered by wind energy. It's completely green web hosting. Unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, a 45-day money-back guarantee, $100 Google AdWords credit to market your website. Right now, for Revision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Go to www.hostgator.com and enter the code JADELSON at checkout to get your discount. So for today's homework assignment, you need to make sure that your company doesn't already exist. So there's a couple places that you should definitely check. The US Patent Database is one of them. I mean, go online, go see what people have done before, and if they've done it already, maybe you're gonna decide not to do it again. If there's a patent, definitely have to seriously consider it because they could go after you. Another thing to check, and, um, and I think this is one of the, the common conversations I have with the entrepreneurs, is they check the domain name system, they check the Whois database at a place like GoDaddy or Network Solutions or HostGator, and they check that, that, uh, that database and they get a result that suggests that someone else is already working on that domain name. 
it might be a hint that that uh, company or that concept's already existing. You can check these things, trademark databases and so forth, to see whether or not your idea is out there or your brand name is out there. Um, you know, I mean, sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's hard until you launch to know whether or not that idea exists. I cannot tell you how many great ideas I hear over dinner or over beers. And then another guy sitting with me goes, oh wait, that just launched last week. So until you start socializing it, definitely go out and socialize it. You may not be able to find out if that idea exists already. That's it for today's show. Again, please send your questions to askj at revision3.com. We'd love to see a video response on the YouTube at the Ask J Adelson channel. And of course, uh, Twitter at Jay Adelson. So until next time, thanks for joining us.